South Africans must vote for Rais Mzansi in this election because it is a watershed moment. If we do not make the right political choices now, it is going to be very difficult to recover after 2029. Our biggest problem in South Africa is the quality of the leadership that we have. We have a leadership that is unethical. We have a leadership that is unsuited for the age in which we live. We have a leadership that is out of touch with the majority of the population. We have a leadership that is absorbed with power for its own sake. And we have a leadership that is corrupt. And no idea will work in South Africa and be implemented successfully if we continue to have the same leadership. So our first proposition to South Africa, which is our election slogan also, is that we need new leaders in order to give South Africans a chance. And this is where Rais Mzansi has set out to solve the problem. It was very important that we get really new leaders in the majority of our top leadership. These are people that are young, they are energetic, they are fresh, they've got diverse experiences. Some come from business, some come from civil society organizations, some come from youth organizations, and they are bound by one thing, and that is a, a love for South Africa, a very deep care for the communities from which they come, for the future of their own children. And they understand fully well that if we cannot change the leadership we have and they do not step forward, we are not going to have the South Africa that we deserve. The second reason people must vote for Rais Mzanzi is because we were very careful to build from the ground up. Our manifesto and our politics is informed by people's daily experiences right across the spectrum. From people who live in deep rural areas, who live in informal settlements, who live in townships, all the way to people who live in suburbs. We understand fully well the diversity of these experiences, but there are things that are, are commonly shared among the people. The fear of a future that is not going to cater for all of us is one. Lack of safety is another. An economy that does not provide opportunities for South Africans is, is another, particularly young South Africans. And so we've set out to find new leaders with a plan. And we are in the process of releasing all the plans that we believe will demonstrate that we are able to, to turn South Africa's fortunes around. The third reason is that we want to return South Africa to its people, South Africa's democracy to its people. And our agenda has political reform baked in. It is time for the people to have a say in who gets to go to parliament, that is the, the MPs, so electoral reform is important, that we curtail the power of the executive so that ministers cannot do whatever they like. Uh, such as such as they do now, and that ultimately when we have a reformed electoral system and we have a stronger parliament that is directly accountable to the people, we will no longer have this complaint that we, that we have, that politicians disappear after the election and we never see them again. And the final reason is this, is that Rai Zimzanzi's politics is really personal. We have listened very carefully to the things that people have told us. Those who have told us that they are told they cannot get a job because they are 35 years old or older and therefore they are too old. We are addressing that issue. It is in our manifesto. We've met a lot of single mothers and single fathers who share their struggles with us of being able to look after their family, their kids and the kids of their brothers and sisters, so elderly members of their family. That is in our manifesto. We know about the drugs and substance abuse a pandemic in South Africa in all communities. We have a comprehensive plan for that. So what I'm trying to say is we've listened very carefully to South Africans. We've got new leaders. We've got a very good sense of what this crisis is about. And we've got younger leaders that South Africa can really be proud of because they've got diverse experiences, they are talented, and they are committed to the idea of power to the people.